Hi guys, so I have another completed pocket letter that I wanted to share with you and um, I'm excited about this one. This one is going to Elise here on YouTube who is Lisey46 I believe. So um, this is for Elise and I'm going to share with you what I used. I don't have everything out that I use, um, all the dies because I just wasn't pulling all that stuff out but I will share with you what I haven't pulled or put up yet. So first let me share with you the paper collection that I use which is the Echo Park Sweet Day um, paper collection. I'm trying to see who it just says Echo Park so I guess this is oh by Alicia Gordon um, is who made this one. I've had this one for a couple of years now and I haven't used it so I decided to pull it out and this is the kit so that's what I use for the paper collection I also use this Lawn Fawn Gingham um, stamp set you can see the ink um, stained it which I was kind of mad about because usually it stains after you know stays on usually stains and then after you've let it sit on there for too long but this one stained as soon as I stamped it but um it's okay so I use this one and it has life's a picnic oh happy day exclamation um, point and hello and this one is called gingham backdrops and it's by Lawn Fawn, so I use that. I use this Tim Holtz. Uh, trying to find the name. The die is in the way. It's called United States, it looks like. So this Thinlets die by Tim Holtz, and it cuts out all of the states as well as the outline piece um, and I'm telling you these oh my god these pieces right here are so tiny like okay th these are some of the states up here see I have them just laying up here let's see we all know Texas so let me this is Alaska like this, these pieces are so little, but they are so cute. But if I didn't have that outline, oh my God, this one's California. And then some of these, you know, well, we know Louisiana because it looks like a boot. And then there's Texas. And you can kind of tell that these are super tiny. And then um, like even this is a state. <laughs> it's like wow Nevada so I think this is Oklahoma yeah okay I'm gonna be messing with these all day Hawaii I don't even want to show you guys I don't even want to try to pick that up those pieces are itty bitty so I'm gonna leave that one alone I don't know what this I don't know what that one is okay well I found Florida okay yeah let me leave that alone because I'll be messing with that all night so Hawaii just got mixed up in there Dang. <laughs> I meant to not do that. I think that's Hawaii. Yeah, it's just tiny little pieces. So anyway, I use this. I'm trying to hurry up. I don't want this video to be too long. I use this in my creative time stamp set just for the little heart. Uh, these are the inks that I used by Heidi Swap. I used her pink. The mint. And I hope that's focusing. There we go. And the coral. Okay. I use some lawn, some more lawn fawn dyes, some more my creative time dyes, some where women cook dyes. Um, I'll just tell you what's what um, as I show you the pocket letter. Or we'll be here all night. Okay, so my pocket letter. <laughs> This first pocket right here is where I use that die that I showed in my previous video. Um, and actually I cut it, the, the paper upside down. I was like, oh man, I had already stuck it down when I realized what I did. So 
basically I just used the collection to try to cover a big chunk of it up and then I used um, cut out some of the words that I think um, represent Elise um, to draw your attention somewhat away from the fact that I cut it upside down <laughs> so yeah um, I edged it with a what die is this magnolia doohickey die um, from what I had been stamping and you can see this is the gingham background that I was stamping um, I just it had overlapped so I cut out the piece that overlapped and then this opens up and on the inside I just have some goodies tucked away in there which is why I really like this pocket really like this pocket and it just tucks back inside so my next pocket I have some Lawn Fawn um, labels that I stamped with the gingham and then this yellow um, gingham back here is from the paper and then this is a teacup die from my creative time then I cut a vellum envelope and I have some pretty sequins in there and then over here is my button pocket you can see the cute buttons this row I wanted to do just something cute so I made this little hot air balloon scene I was inspired by this piece of paper here so I cut out some clouds did some water coloring cut out one in vellum and then I cut out this little heart hot air balloon that I thought was super cute and I stamped it with the gingham background and then this pocket just has sunshine happiness breath of fresh air beautiful inside and out sweet as candy delightful and then for this pocket here I used some Lawn Fawn um, balloon dies from the new, I, guess, I think it's the new collection that came out, the new stamps and dies. Um, and I stamped it with the gingham background because um, she said she loves gingham so I wanted to incorporate that quite a bit on here. And then on the outside of the pocket it says you are one of a kind. And then I added some twine hanging from the balloons. The bottom has this adorable cupcake that I went over the cherry with some Winko Stella. And then I just have some enamel pieces here and some bling. And it says cupcakes make everything better. And then this pocket I have my state using that state die. And there's a little heart. And then I stitched this line to California with another little heart that says hello. And these hearts are stamped randomly. I don't even know if this is the area where Lisa is, okay? <clears throat> for my next pocket this has some games in it um, it has a tic-tac-toe board the little pieces I stamped on vellum they're in this little pouch here and then it has a word search um, word search puzzles in there as well and then this is from the paper collection it says hello friend really cute and this is a my creative time pocket die and then on the back I just have some goodies. This is a MFT die. And it's a little, um, what do you call this, bobbin thing? What do you call this? No. Um, spool. That's what this is. If it'll focus. Sorry. I hope it's focused. I don't know. Is it going to focus? Maybe it's focused and I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so that's what that is. Here's my letter in this pocket. There's another spool with some pink gingham trim, some die cut pieces, some washi. Down here I have some um, butterflies that are die cut in some tilde paper. I did some more um, die cutting here in tilde paper and the paper from the collection. And then some just some um, solid color cardstock as well as here with tilde paper and solid color cardstock and these are super cute these are the little um, like cappuccino cups or whatever so that is the back and that is my pocket letter on the side of course is my little tag this little jewel and some pink seam binding I love how this one turned out it's very glitzy and not too much though 
I hope Elise likes it. I had a ton of fun putting this together for her. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for the next one, guys. All right, bye.